Hello guys, how's it going? We are headed to the Daytona International Speedway. I've been there before, so this will be the first time that Kelly and the boys have been there. And it is a really cool place if you've never been there, but we are going there because they are doing an RV show. So we're going to be there again at this RV show. So this will be number two RV show for the year. Uh, same thing as last time. We're going to be walking through, looking at stuff, uh, talking to any business partners that we have there, and uh, expanding our reach business-wise. But while we're there at Daytona, International Speedway, we're gonna see if we can't put our toes in the Atlantic Ocean as well while we're still here. And then um, you guys know we don't really plan too far ahead travel-wise, so we're waiting to figure out where we're gonna be on Monday night. And today is Saturday. We're waiting to just hear back from them, but yeah. this is gonna be fun today. We're gonna do some more RV tours. We're gonna have fun today. It's beautiful. It's 72, the sun's shining. We're in Daytona Beach, Florida. It really is beautiful here. Daytona! We are at Daytona International Speedway. We're here for the RV show, but you can hear the cars going by. I wish we could see them from the parking lot. That would be so cool. That would be a lot of fun, but you can definitely hear them. They're doing tours. There you go. They're doing testing or something here. And maybe they're doing some of the ride and drive stuff. Love that sound of a naturally aspirated V8. We're gonna enjoy that sound while we're Walking around the RV show. 
we're going to do some filming for you guys again and uh, hopefully meet up with some more business partners we'll see you soon so we went to the rv show um kind of an rv show Continue it was basically camp road for half a mile <clears throat> Basically just uh, La Mesa dealership brought, it looked like mostly all of their used inventory to try to sell it at the show, which was a little disappointing. We uh, walked through a bunch of grand designs that they had there and we were super disappointed how their quality is continuing to rapidly decline. Yeah. They're just the quality of the grand design product now is not even close to where it was not even as close to where our trailer is and we're at 21 yeah it's been it was honestly it was super shocking to walk in and feel like we were not in a grand design like every time we spent a lot of time walking through grand designs way back way in back when we were looking we spent a lot of time looking through the momentums the solitudes um, even the imagines for a little bit, um, and quality, just, yeah. yeah, quality was way higher. The quality now is just, it's, it's not even worth looking at it instead of another brand. It's really disappointing. Like they used to, they grand design used to be a brand where everybody wanted it cause it was super high quality and it was really nice and new. <clears throat> And now there's no difference between their stuff and everybody else's on the whole market. So, but um, their prices are still right above everybody else's. From yeah, what I can see, their prices are still all jacked up. So, uh, that's right. As far as RV shows go, the only RVs that we've seen that would warrant a higher price Take the next would be the, the road. would be the Brinkleys, and the, the Alliance. Uh, and the Alliances. Those are the only two where the quality is super high still. Um, and then of course Lux, but they're not in the same market, so. So, yeah, a little disappointing, but we did walk through. Continue on Lake Ashby Road for three quarters of a mile. It was basically a parking lot full of Class C's and Class A's that were all used that they were trying to sell on consignment for people. So it was, but it was fun to be at the Daytona International Speedway. We got to hear the cars racing by, that was fun. Yeah. We didn't get to see them. But, and then we went out, we were gonna go drive on the beach, but the beach is closed because of super high tide yeah. and their red flags were out. So we didn't get to do that. But Next time we come through, we'll try and make it happen. Yeah, we're in the area for- A little while. We're hoping to be in Florida until April or May. Mm -hmm. And so we should be able to scoot back around and hit all the places that the beaches are closed. So we'll see, but we're going to go back to our Boondockers Welcome and we are going to fill our water tank and we're going to go ahead and hook up and fill our water tank because we are moving in the morning. Any damage. Doesn't seem to be any damage, so we should be okay. We uh, had a car coming at us, so Jeremy was paying attention to where the car was because this road is not quite two lanes instead of what was above us. Good morning. We left our Boondockers welcome. Bright and early. <laughs> 8 a.m. Because we have to drive through Orlando to get where we're going next. We had such a blast there. We're going to leave a great review as we always do. Um, it was the guy was a retired magician. So he did uh, some magic tricks for the boys with coins and with dollar bills. Cards. and cards and it was a lot of fun and now we're headed kind of back to where we were yeah, pretty close. two or three weeks ago and uh we're gonna be there for at least two weeks maybe four at least two weeks yeah at least two weeks but we're hoping for four and i don't know if we're gonna share what we're doing there or not because we're not the never been the type of people to share when we do stuff like that when we do volunteer work it's raining this morning a little bit we're excited to be back towards uh the tampa area tampa area because we've got family in that area that we enjoy spending time with so lots of family it'll be nice to be close to them again not that they wouldn't travel to come see us on the east coast um of florida but it just makes it easier
we're on to the next adventure.